Hey everyone, Mirai here, and welcome to part five of this multiboxing gameplay video guide. In the last video, I went over a handful of general multiboxing related tips, and in this one, I'm going to be giving a general overview on how to handle both melee and mixed teams in combat, as well as a few other general combat related tips. So let's start this off with melee classes. Generally speaking, they're the most difficult types of classes to multibox because not only can melee be heavily dependent on positioning, they can also be problematic to move out of AoE or cleave attacks during a boss encounter, which leaves them open to taking a lot of damage. And also, depending on the game, melee attacks can cause follow to break, so you might end up having to constantly press your follow key in order to keep melee characters on the move during combat. Now, there are two main methods to approach melee combat when multiboxing, and the first method is to run your main character through the enemy that you want to fight. This positions your other melee characters directly behind the enemy, which is usually where you want them. However, if you don't run your main through the enemy, then the other melee characters are most likely going to be out of range in order to attack. Now, World of Warcraft is one of the games where melee combat breaks follow, so if you're going to use this particular method, just know that you'll need to keep pressing your follow key if you're moving the enemy around a lot. However, in World of Warcraft, you can also use the interact with target command paired up with click to move in order to make playing melee classes a bit easier. I quickly covered interact with target back in the second video of this series, so I'm not going to go over it again, but the idea is that once your melee characters have a target, you can just press your hotkey that you set up in IS Boxer for interact with target, and they will run up to the hostile unit and begin auto attacking it. If the target then moves, you'll have to press your hotkey again, but this is generally easier than having to constantly readjust their position with your main character. If you're looking to utilize melee classes in your team composition, you may want to consider setting the hotkey in IS Boxer for interact with target to something easy to press, because it's likely you're going to be pressing it a lot. Now, interact with target in World of Warcraft isn't perfect, and it has a tendency to send your characters running past the enemy they're fighting and off into the distance. Unfortunately, this is expected to happen, and typically, you'd either press your follow hotkey or just re-interact with the hostile unit to bring them back. But for a more in-depth look at how to deal with runaway characters and how to set up interact with target, I'd suggest checking out both the interact with target setup and troubleshooting videos. There are links in the description. Multiboxing the same class is ideal if you're still new to the playstyle itself and learning how everything works, but what about when you want to start mixing other classes into your team? At first, it might seem awkward because different classes use different spells with different cast times, and this can be something that might deter you from trying it out. However, putting spells which have a similar cast time in the same place on each of your character's action bars is a good way to start off when playing a mixed team. For example, I can press my 3 key, and my Warlock will cast Incinerate, my Druid will cast Wrath, and my Mage will cast Arcane Blast. All three spells have about a 2 second cast time, so this tends to work out well for a basic spell rotation. Now when you begin leveling up and gaining new spells and abilities, the next step is to become familiar with macros. Most games have some sort of macro system built in, but not every game does, so this can be game dependent. Putting a few spells or abilities into a simple rotation and assigning that macro the same key binding on each character will allow you to get more out of each class as you level up. And a lot of players begin to break up their buttons to include things like single target damage, AoE damage, silences, interrupts or stuns, a button solely for buffs, even a button to blow big cooldowns during a boss fight. And of course, whatever else you think you might need. Moving to such a setup isn't only useful when playing a team of mixed classes, and it can come in handy for any team once you reach a high enough level. But adopting such a setup will also help you transition into a much more advanced playstyle for IS Boxer called the Pro System. Now this was just a general overview on how to utilize mixed classes within the same team, and if you'd like to see a low level mixed class party in action, then the seventh video in this series is where I show how to basically run a mixed team through a dungeon. Feel free to check that out if you'd like. Turning your other characters to focus on a moving target in combat can be something that you'll need to do often. 
because your characters normally can't DPS when they've got their back turned to the enemy. There are a few ways to accomplish this, but generally you'll need to rely on the follow command. If your characters are on follow, they're basically on a leash, and wherever your main character turns, they'll turn as well. So if you keep them close, then it's easy to turn them where you need them. This method works great early on in the game when you're out in the world questing, but you will need to get a bit fancier if you want to begin doing some advanced PvE, such as dungeons. The second method for turning your characters still involves follow, but also requires that you break it shortly after using it. You can see in this example that I am quickly turning my characters in each direction that I need them to be in order to cast their spells. The way I'm doing it is that I'm first hitting my follow key to put them on the virtual leash I mentioned a moment ago, and then I'm pressing my hotkey to break follow. It all happens so quickly that it almost looks as if they're turning themselves, but I assure you, I am in complete control. This next method, which doesn't rely on follow, uses the mapped keys that the IS Boxer wizard sets up for you by default. Others turn left, and others turn right. You can give either or both of these mapped keys a hotkey so that you can turn your other characters left or right when necessary. This is essentially keyboard turning, and while it is slower, it does get the job done. And of course, when you're in a pinch, you can always just turn on repeater for a moment and turn your characters with your mouse if you'd like, but that can get hectic and dangerous, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend this method. And finally, World of Warcraft's interact with target can be used as another way to face your characters, but at this time it can be unreliable depending on the class that you're trying to use it with, so I would suggest becoming familiar with one of the other methods that I've shown instead. I'm sure that there might be some other game-specific ways to go about turning your characters, but these that I've mentioned here are pretty much the universal methods for doing so. And that brings this video to an end. In the next video, I'll be covering both basic and intermediate methods for dealing with healing. Thanks for watching, guys. Mirai out.